hi, I'm missing spindle. I have been uh, busy researching Scottish spindles with no whorls on the bottom. I call them whorlless spindles. The Scots, one of the names for them that the Scots use is Jalligan. So what happened with me, I was teaching these this summer, and one of my students said, you really ought to read Debbie Sawinski's In the Footsteps of Sheep, her book. And her book, which is basically about collecting little bits of sheep's fleece in Scotland and spinning them as she walked, she was using a kind of industrial bobbin and that is very familiar to any weaver or anyone who has worked in what is the dyeing uh, textile trades to weave cloth. Um, it goes into a shuttle and the shuttle is used in a fly shuttle industrial loom. These are found all over the place in antique stores. Sometimes they're called antiques, sometimes they're called vintage bobbins, vintage perns. As I was going along and started reading some of Debbie's articles on actually spinning, not the knitting part, I discovered she was horizontally spinning. You can rotate it in your hand and spin slowly. This is slow introduction of twists horizontally. This is a close-up of horizontal spindle spinning with a spinning stick. The rotation basically clockwise. There's no hitch. This twist enters very slowly and that stick kind of hops. It stays more in contact down here than at the top. Kind of see twist running up. Once you get up to the top and you want to store the yarn you've made, you're going to go over, turn, over, turn, over, turn, over, turn, and continue until you're ready to spin again. There's nothing that happens down here except to go up and start twisting again. If you have a shorter pern or bobbin winder, they often have an eighth inch hole here at the end. It's a sloppy eighth. So if you make your little stick with a notch or a knob at the top, many of them you'll need to pound down. But this one, which stands proud of the top of the pern, maybe an inch and a half, this one holds on kind of with drag. There's no cross at the bottom, but what I discovered is if this is holding on, this cop, what you would do is you would rotate more than once, once and a half at the minimum, come back up and hitch at the top. And what's fascinating is that holds. It holds quite well. And once again, you're rotating clockwise. This will work, of course, with either hand. Once you get done spinning, you release and slide up over the top. 
unwind that bottom and then do your hitching. Do your wrapping until it's long enough to go back up to the top and first finish oblique winding. Wind around one and a half to two times and do a half hitch into the knock or notch at the top. This is basically a modified industrial bobbin that is being used, once I've modified it, exactly the way I would use a traditional bobbin that was a Jalligan from uh, Scottish tradition. And you'll see that I've added the crossed notches. I have also gone up and filled the hole with a dowel that has a knock out of it. And I use this exactly as I did to make a center pull single spun ball uh, in my instruction sets for the Jelligan.